Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this video you're going to see one of the presentations from the European Jumps and Sprints Symposium that I recently attended in Sweden. This is a practical long jump session taken by Swedish coach Yannick Kragaro. Yannick has coached many great jumpers including Sweden's Christian Olsen and currently Tobias Montela. During the first part of the video, you're going to see lots of great warm-up exercises and then in the second part, great drills for the takeoff and in particular the penultimate step and arm action. I really like to work with, with details and um, um, this session is going to be about, we're going to start to do some, some warm-up exercises. I think the warm-up exercises also is, is very, very important uh, for both flexibility but also mobility to to you need to have certain uh, you know range of movement so you can do some exercises if you if you're too stiff sometimes that that that's not good uh, you, you don't get into the positions you want to uh, and I don't think that um, if you're more flexible, that you become less explosive. Um, you need to be strong and flexible. We, we always warm up with 10, 10 minutes jog. Um, I know athletes who, who warm up a lot less, uh, but we do a 10 minute jog and then we start directly with, um, with with the exercises they're going to show now. We don't need to do because you're, but, but do like a couple of times and then you turn around to your chest and then you just stay on your chest and kick every second leg up the back like, like this. Yeah, exactly. And up with your toes too. Try to come all the way up to the elbow. Good. Point. Um, the, uh, so when you stretch like this, you can feel a little bit inside your hamstring where you are stiff, and you can move around with your with your hands to push. Then they don't. Then the the um, where the, the muscle connects doesn't get all the pressure. You get more on the on the hams. Uh, on the hamstrings. So you can try that ten try that ten times and you can move around a little with your hands and self uh, massage or press where you feel steadily against your nose. Try to get the um, um, yeah the foot to the nose. Swing back and forward a little bit like this. You can chain side. It's okay boys. <laughs> You can try the other leg too. Now, as you can see, that you are quite much more stiff in one leg than the other one. Where was was this the opposite? And the other one? No, but no, that's okay. Yeah. So if you see really big differences, it's good to do something about it. That's good. We do that. Oh, we do often do all the exercises ten times, but then you can stop with one foot in front, yeah, with side of the hand, and you go down on your elbows. So if you go a little bit more to the side here, it's easier to come down, but also straighten this leg. Yeah. Victor. You can change leg. And then almost the same exercise, you can do it at place or knee and the arm. I have the wrong side of the up and down. And you can have the hand and the foot at the two, uh, no, like, you know, like this, so they're connected, yeah. I like that exercise. Go down and up. Down and up. Joints. Try more, make the rec play. Do it again. Try to go down 
and up. Hold your ankles all the time. And, you, and go, come up and go down. Come up, go down. Du kan stå lite smalare. Think about the elbows back, exactly. That's what I want almost to, try to be on your toes all the time. And when, when you put the foot into the ground, try to really be, be so uh, tense your, your front of the thigh and your glute. Feel, feel straighten, straighten it, straighten it. Good. And the elbows back. You can walk one more time, the same, but this time we do it a little bit more um, explosive, but at the same time slower. So we, we, when you go down, you go slow down and put the flat foot to the ground. But when you go up, so you go a little bit more explosive up. And try to find the balance when you come up on your toes. Put your penultimate leg so it goes fast up. And if you're more, you only use your feet. So you're on your toes, and you work up and down with with your with your toes. Really short strides, straight legs. And tense your actually you have a t small tension on your uh, thighs. Just be relaxed and stand and put a little bit of uh, tension on your glutes yeah, and come up on your toes and suck in the stomach a little bit so you really feel that the hips is in a high position so you know a little bit so in this position I, I, I want you to, to feel now I call, you know I call these, 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 these positions, I call them dots it's the hips I say dots forward, punkterna. So, so the use you have dots forward, okay? But and but don't arch anything. Never arching. So suck in your stomach. One more time. Small strides. Use your arms. Back with your elbows. Good. Same exercise. But when I like, when I clap my hands, you go forward, and when I say blah, you go backwards. The same exercise. Yeah, so we just small, small strides like this. Okay, hips high. Blah. Blah. Hips high. Use your arms. Use your arms. Blah. Enough. Thanks. Straight legs. Oscar, you can spread your legs a little bit more. Even more. Victor, raka ben. Straight legs. It's okay. I like to 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 to, to put in some sometimes flexible exercises again. Yeah, when we start doing uh, some drills too, it's, it's good for the warm up. So. Ten, ten meters. Try to have a straight lower leg. Back with your elbows. with your elbows. Straighten the lower leg. Determined arms. Boom. Boom. Back with your elbow. Good. We're going to have a lower knee lift. So we're going to focus only on, because if you have a high knee lift, 
this leg often bends. If we have a low, it's easier to straighten the lower leg. So try to just be here. Up with your dots, hips up, 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 up. Hips high, lower leg. Is that you stand like this, uh, with, with uh, almost like a, a start position, um, but not, not for sprinters. But, uh, but and you, I want you to vibrate with the, with the lower leg, feel the vibrations. It's, a, it's enough. But we're gonna start like that, and then we're gonna um, be a little explosive and come up and then fall down to a, to a launch position and try to pause at the top. So like this, boom, and then fall down. Yeah, you can do it. And and think about you can think about the long jump takeoff when, when you when you come up, boom. So really lift your spread your arms and lift your um, shoulders. And you, ah! It's like like you really bounce when you change. Okay. Meet the leg, uh, the, the ground on a straight leg. A, a early shift. When the one leg starts going down, the other one is going up. Small, this tripping exercise, and then to a knee lift every every third stride. So it looks like this. Hips high, straight legs. When you come up, you really separate, straight the lower leg and lift your exactly. Arms, separate the arms. Come up. Even slower. And meet the ground on a straight leg. Good. Slower. The first part you did now with the slow high knees. Uh, it, what's important now is I want you to have short strides. So this first 10 meters are really slow because you are slow with the movements. You try to stay tall, but at the same time, because of the short stride length, the speed forward will be slow. Uh, next 10 meters, we continue to have the short stride length, and you continue to have the same height of the knees, but you will do it fast. You can, and you can also increase the speed if you want, gradually. Uh, but in the end of the Second 10 meter, I want you to, to have maximum speed with the knees, uh, with the frequency. Slow, even slower. Good, Victor, use your arms. Meet with the straight leg. Okay, now we can start increasing. Come on, pop, 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 pop. use your arms. Okay, and go longer legs, uh, longer strides. Meet the ground. Down, 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 down. Okay, keep your knees. Meet, 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 meet. And, and. Slow. Hips high. Good, Victor. Pump, 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 pump. And go up. Wait. 
we think of. Nice. Be relaxed and just find the rhythm. When, at the same time, when you walk, work down on the ground, try also to, to be determined with the arms. Put your feet down in front of you. You feel that you miss the rebound from the power. I want you to feel that it comes under you so, you, so you feel the rebound up in your body. I also found, didn't find the right rhythm. Me down, 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 down. You hop up, oh, you jump over two cones and then land on your penultimate and then jump again over two cones. More focus on your penultimate, faster. When you meet the ground and pop up. There you go. Good. Too much jumping. Pop up, pop up, pop up. It means you cannot push away so much because then it will be too short. So you just have to have to be fast in the ground. There you go. Nice. So this seems to be the key position, getting the penultimate step down quickly before going into a bit of a token takeoff. To, to reach the full um, this position, so if you if you're slow with your arms, for example, you will you will not have time to come out with your arms into the right position. But if you so it's very important to be, be fast with, with everything and also also with your, with your legs. Try uh, also the other leg. Faster, faster. Papa, papa. There you go. Keep on going. Boom. Boom. It's determined. And you bum, 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 and continue walk like this. Bum, 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 and you stretch up here. And you walk. Boom, 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 boom. Shanti, be determined. And be walk more uh, determined with your up and down with your knees. Lift your toes, Oscar. You don't need to have so high knees. You bounce four times on your takeoff leg. Just easy bounce. And with the leg like in this position where you, if you think when you're coming and running to your penultimate leg, it always often the, the knee, uh, height of the knee lift is like in, in this position. When you bop, bop. So, have that feeling in mind when you do this exercise. So you let here, you just walk very fast in the ground and back. Yeah. Faster. Just down with the feet and back up again. There you go. Lower knee, lower knee, lower, lower knee. Pa -pam. Down, pa -pam. There you go, determined arms. Quite fast gallop to think about, uh, really go forward. Uh, so there you jump on over the, uh, the hurdles and then you have a a between and then over the hurdles and then a between and then over the hurdles. 
Amen. Amen. And think about going forward, not, not up. Let's try one time. To go more up, but I don't want you to block anything. I, 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 I want you to try to, to still stay, stay straight and do the same exercise, but going over the hurdle, you have to go higher because of your lifting your knee and you are lifting your shoulders with a pointy knee. That, that's where you create the height, not from, from blocking. So try. But the long jumpers has an angle between like 17 and 25 degrees uh, because of we are not strong enough to, to we lose too much speed if we jump higher. But uh, at the same time, you should try to jump high with, like I'm trying to teach them now, after the board, when you leave the board, that you are really you, you have the an ultimate that can and the shoulders, um, so you, so you really lift the shoulders up. One and when one arm goes to to the opposite direction, it the shoulders lifts. But so this creates the height. Also important how you lower your center. Your, your forward. Yeah, yeah, but but. This, yeah, you want you don't you don't want to uh, come like this. So when you hit the ground on your penultimate, I want you to hit the ground with just a bent knee and active to the ground. So you you run and you just bam meet here in in and at the same time you you push away and you hold the core in a, in a good position. Bam. So you can, so you have a pretension in your penultimate, and then when you hit the board from above, you get a fast penultimate, and you really lift your shoulders. Uh, that's how. That's how I want them to do that. So we're going to do an exercise for that. Box. The ground will be very far down, and you will feel it will be really difficult to. If you come here, it will be very difficult to jump. Focus should be a fast penultimate. The, the, the box is burning. So when you hit the foot on the box, really fast with the penultimate. And separate your arms in the takeoff. Try to do it without blocking. Just, just boom. Better. Quite often, uh, we we also do uh, we we do long jump with uh, uh, when we have a little shorter approach for this exercise. We have like six, eight steps. I I put the box in the sand pit. And I take sand away, so after the, the runway, I put the box a little bit lower than, than, the, um, than the surface. So it means that you take off from lower. And that means that you have more time, the penultimate comes faster forward, and it's more difficult to, to get height. So you, often you are very, you have to, you, you, that's an exercise where you train on being really fast. So you have to be 
when you because because the ground in the, on the takeoff is a little lower, the penalt net comes faster forward, and then you really have to 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 extend oh. also like the jump uh, from the box. But I think that a lot of people jump uh, from a box out into the pit. It, what, what is it good for? Yeah, it's good that you lift your knee, you, you have to lift a little bit higher and you can train and really be active down. And it, but it's, it, at the same time, it often makes you slower. It makes you jump higher, it makes, makes the penultimate slower when, when you're on the box. Uh, so I see a lot of people jump from, from a lot of boxes and they just teach to, to jump really high. So I think it's more important to teach to go forward and, and be, be fast. There are many more exercises, but um, I think also I learned to to find out which exercises is is effective and, and helps technique and helps them to 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 have the right positions and to be active in the right positions too. Um, there's a lot of exercises you, you sometimes can do for, for coordination and for, maybe they're good at that but uh, I think it's, it's important that you have a, a, a meaning with exercise. As usual, thanks for watching and good luck with your training and competition. Do check out Yannick's Instagram page and also look out for more content from the European Jumps and Sprints Symposium that I'll be posting over the next couple of weeks. Right now she has superior landing position. And of course, good luck with your training and competition and do subscribe to the channel. It's a little bit risky to go to classic plyometrics like hopping hurdles or bounding or even sand jumps. If you don't have the movement literacy, this is fundamental movement literacy.